that they will just lie to you just to get their money or so then but well once you arrive here you meet the story will be something else it won't be what you have been told back in your country you will meet you and then you don't have any option again <laughs> assalamu alaikum hello guys welcome to my channel thank you for clicking in if this is your first time you are welcome and to my returning subscriber thank you guys so much for the love and support you guys are really amazing like seriously you guys are really giving me joy thank you so much for this for always tuning into my channel thank you so much and if this is your first time here you are welcome and by name Rizika here in this channel I talk about my life joining in Saudi Arabia please do me a favor by subscribing and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video you'll be notified thank you guys once again so guys let's go into today's video things I wish I knew before coming to Saudi Arabia to work like in my previous video i talk about things i love about my work here in saudi arabia there are there are also things i f wish like i wish i knew about it before coming down here to work yes there are things believe me there are every everything that have this that have advantage we surely have its own uh, disadvantage yes so things i wish i knew before coming to saudi arabia is this firstly the contract because in the before before signing for the work there was there is a form you need to fill and in this form there are some things uh, maybe about the work I'm coming here you will come here to do that you have to, to, to know more about the nature of your work so I've, I read the form, I read the form and I've seen everything then there in the form your the salary is written on it how much you'll be paid and due to I don't know about uh, uh, Saudi currency, I asked the agent right there that this money, how much will it be when converted to Nigeria currency? And she told me that okay, this this is what is it? And I was like, wow, the salary is cool. But on getting to Saudi Arabia, it wasn't so. So if you are watching this video, I know because many people are out there willing to come and work in Saudi Arabia. It's not everything the agent told you or what the, is in their form that you will feel that is true. It, it, it's not so. Yeah. Because when you are in Nigeria and they told you that, okay, when you're going to Saudi Arabia to work now, you'll be paid 2000 or 2005 Just know that it's, it won't be so getting here. The money, the salary will be less than what you are being told by the agent back in your country. That is just the truth. Because I've met, I've come across many people that they will tell you that, yes, this is not what we have been told, that we will be paid as salary. The agent will lie to you. It's not what they, they wrote in their form that you, are, you will be paid as salary, that you will be paid when you finally arrive here at Saudi Arabia. Yes, that is one thing I wish I knew. Even though that what they are still paying me is still far more better. It's just that it's, it's very bad. Why will they lie? Just say the truth. This is it. If the person is okay with it, then she or she will move ahead. Why will you be lying to people, giving people hope that, okay, this is this how much you'll be, pay, you'll be being paid as a salary, but at the end of the day, it's not so. Just not. That is one thing I wish, like, wish, I, wish I knew before coming here. And then secondly, again, is the work hour. The agent we told you that you have specific hours for working. Maybe you work for like seven, eight hours in a day. It's a lie. It's not so. On getting here, everything changed. It wasn't what the agent told me. I meet here. On getting here, the, nothing like maybe the agent will tell you that you will work from maybe seven in the morning to seven in the evening or six. It's not so. Here it's like you will work. It's, Maybe 13 hours straight, 14 hours straight, you'll be working. It's not what the agent is, told me about the uh, working hour. I meet here on arriving here, which is very bad. And I wish I knew that before coming here. Like you would be working, you don't have, 
the working hour is is it's longer than the resting hour you have like you will work maybe by the time you round off your work maybe around 12 12 to 1 midnight then tomorrow morning many people like me i will wake up by 9 the next morning some people will still sleep lately like that then they will still wake up around 7 8 which is very bad you have long hour for working but the resting hour is very short the agent will never told you that and they will also tell you that you will have a uh, off day that you not work throughout the whole week which is lie you will work throughout the whole week all the time nothing like resting day which is very bad the agents which our the agent in our country are not helping the situation at all they keep deceiving people it's better just tell them those people that this is it if they still want to go ahead with it fine that they will just lie to you just to get their money or so then but well once you arrive here you meet the story will be something else it won't be what you have been told back in your country you will meet you and then you don't have any option again that to continue with the work then thirdly again what i th what i wish i knew before coming here again is the weather like the what the weather here is just so terrible if it's hot it's just extremely hot which is very hot if you are in here in saudi arabia and you are watching this video i believe you testify to it the, the weather is very hot and i wish i knew about the weather before coming here and again once it's cold the cold is extremely very cold that like you will have two percent two degree on the weather sometimes one very cold it's extremely cold when it's cold either hot or cold the weather here is not good at all and again there is when it's time for the wind they spread again <laughs> so so bad everything here about like every all the things we have been told back in our country before coming coming down here is it's just the other part of it we meet here it's not what you have been told you will meet here like me i'm the type that's always half cold i asked the agent she said no saudi weather is very okay for everybody you don't have to be to think about the weather because i know the type of person i am i have to ask she said oh, the weather is okay all those stuff and i say okay and the person that told me about the work before coming here she too was newly here when she told me about the work and she said she don't know much about the weather here before coming here that is just it and again what i think i wish i knew about the work again is the is the agent the agent are like they are you you don't you can't trust them all like before coming my like my own agent in nigeria he said oh, no problem you don't have to be scared of anything once you have any challenges just put a uh, put call across to me i will just i will settle everything there will be no problem of which everything was lying when i came here i could remember when i asked them that okay how much is my salary because they know so tell me after like two weeks i was the one that asked them that how much is my salary this what I... she said no and my madam told me no that is not what we discussed with the agent i was like what but this is what my agent told me before coming here he said ah that is not their discussion with the agent i have to call this man he said ah, don't worry why is it so like he has other agent here that pick us from the airport he will call him now and told him the next thing I for after some days he did not call get back to me. I have to call him again. He said uh, he's speaking this he's calling him, but he's not picking uh, his call. He gave me his number. I personally called this man. He said, "Who are you?" After introducing myself to him, he said, "Okay, don't worry. I'll get back to you. I will call them now and get back to you." That was the last time <laughs> I speak with this man. This man could never pick my call again. Even I test, I sent him many messages, series of messages. This man would would not re uh, respond to my messages, and he will view the message. He see the message, he will not respond again. That is because the, the, the agent are not helping matters at all. Why will you lie? Tell him I don't have anybody here to look on or to go to. 
Then the next thing my agent in Angiraku told me is that you need to be patient. I'm still trying to solve it out with your agent, with the agent here. They will still change your salary up to the, <laughs> maybe they will change it next month, of which I don't know. And since then, I did not even call him again to complain of, about anything because even I've, for like two, three times that I complained to him, he could not do anything about it, which is very bad. But they will tell you, don't worry, you don't have to be scared of anything. I'm here, I'm here, but just know that I'm not here, I'm not here with you, but once there is any, you are having any problem, just put call across to me. I will solve everything, which is not so. And I wish I knew, I, I knew about it before coming here. Many things that, many challenges that I faced here that I was like, what is this? Like the story, which, what this again told me and on getting here, it was something entirely. And again, the children here, their children, they are, these Arab children, they are very disrespectful. Many of them are very disrespectful. They will just call you and they'll just call you by your name like bring me this and this thing is very close to them that they can just stand up and take but they will call you come and give me this they just they don't have manner at all they don't have manner of, of approach they will just talk to you anyhow like a child will just speak anyhow to you like even if the parents are sitting down that has to, to say that ah what are you saying now or to stop their children from such no they will just assume that they are not hearing what the children are doing or saying, which is very, very bad. I wish I knew that this is how their children are. Their children are so disrespectful. And again, even the madam, their women, they are so much like they, they talk a lot. They are talk, is it how we like call it? They are talkative. Like people used to say, they say ah, women are talkative. But when we talk about these Arab, mad, <laughs> Arab women, their own is just quite different. They can talk about, like, you just stay with them. They are, they are the one ask, that asks you to do this work. Why doing it? They will still be talking ab about you. And once they are talking about you, you will know that these people, they are talking directly to you. They will just, all of them, they will just focus on you. Once you just look at them like this, you just get to see that they are all focusing on you. Either you just come to them like this now, on your turning back, just look back. They will just focus on you. They can talk. Like, and they are the type of person that would like to know about your privacy. How is that your business? I'm working with you. Does not mean that you need to know about me. They will know. Are you married? Do you have kids? What are you using your salary for? Who are you sending your salary for? I will be like, what? How is this your business? I'm working. Just pay me my salary. How I spend my salary should not be your business. Like... I don't just know the type of creature they are. They are just extremely so bad, so annoying set of people. But like in some aspect, they are friendly in some aspect, but there is also some aspect that they are just so annoying to me. Like <laughs> to me, I don't know of others, but to me, they are so annoying at times. So guys, that is just it. That is just what I don't, I wish I knew about my work, about the work before coming. I will link, I will leave the link to my previous video that i also talk about things i love about the work yes there are things i also love about the work and the, and this this i've just mentioned now are the things i wish i knew about the world before coming down here to saudi arabia to work thank you guys for watching and please if you fall this video down to this level and if not subscribe please what are you waiting for just me, do me the favor by turning by subscribing now and turn on the notification bell thank you so much for watching thank you for the love and support see you guys in my next video bye